Welcome to Rauda Beyond, Life Beyond Metal. Welcome to Rauda Beyond. It's time to react to one more James Bond movie. One more and more plenty to come. This time we go to back to 1960s with a Sean Connery James Bond movie called Thunderball. Are you ready? Let's react to it and see how this trailer works. Now almost 60 years later. Come on, time flies. Starts with the classic uh, James Bond moves, the old graphics and all that stuff. Uh, Thunderball really went more with the gadgets and all that stuff. I mean, I was already stunned with the, you know, uh, the jetpack kind of thing. Now you also have a very lengthy diving scene that was from the end of the movie. And while it looks good, while it was probably really, really great back in the days, I mean, let's be honest about it, it's way too lengthy. But Overall, this, um, both the trailer and the movie that is, is just classic Sean Connery era, James Bond. You have the martial arts things here, with kind of a goofy thing. Why put the phone cord on it? You have a kissing part. You have a flashing lights. It's all very, very James Bond-like. Sometimes these fights are silly. Why would you just smash on the door? Why would the dude just go down like that? I mean, it's the kind of... Uh, zeitgeist kind of a thing now obviously you have uh, the beautiful ladies you have those mandatory fights you have the pa james bond pun puns which are sometimes really poor jokes and sometimes they are really good you have the badass um, enemies you have uh, things like sharks i mean everything by this time is very formulated with the james bond style you have all the ingredients, gunfights, fist fights, ladies, bad world uh, level plotting, evil villains and all that stuff. Uh, now a lot of this good stuff uh, is already on the trailer, but obviously the whole story is way bigger than that. However, by this time I felt like some of the previous James Bond movies were already better. And while the flow of the movie is quite good, I think it just misses something important. Maybe it's too lengthy, much like this trailer, or maybe it's just like, I don't know, not able to do it as well as the two previous ones, like Goldfinger and From Russia with Love. However, I still think that James Bond has the charisma. I mean, I'm talking about Sean Connery here. And um, some of the movies actually after this one became, in my opinion, opinion, better than this one. Thunderball is decent one, but just too stretched in so many ways and not really bringing uh, the good pacing and all that stuff the same way as the two previous ones. Is it worth a watch nowadays? Kinda. Just don't expect too much and you're ready to go. I would put it with the, the lower third of James Bond movies overall, but that being said, can't really go all that wrong with explosions, ladies, gunfights, and evil villains. So there you have it, Rauta's reaction to it and all that stuff. Now go watch it or don't. Bye bye.